Hi, I'm Jack. I'm one of the hosts from Let's Drone Out, where I hang out with my friends on a podcast and talk about droney kind of stuff. But I am too stupid to record and edit my own video, this video project. A massive thank you for Curry Kitten for taking the time to edit this and put it together. Without him, no one would ever see this. And I here's a video of how I... Uh, built a DJI Mavic that's not a Mavic and it it's an acro Mavic and it does acro y kind of stuff. This is no way sponsored by DJI and they probably will never endorse this. I was thinking about doing a sleeper build. Um, there's a movement within the car groups where you get a crap car and um, you put like really good. Uh, components in it like you know really good engine i always wanted to build like a stealth like you know sleeper drone and i'm not a an a, amazing fan of uh, dgi i'm friends with drone doctor the, the owner uh my friend sheldon and i asked him like you know can i have a a phantom 3 shell and motors and everything and he gave them to me and then the next thing um mr Steele came out with his video so years later, I, I've been nagging him for a, um, a Mavic. You know, I was like, oh, I'll do a Mavic then. Because it's it's small and it's hard to get all the stuff inside it. Sheldon had a, uh insurance drone that was a write-off. It had fallen into the sea. He gave me that and I got like four arms off of him as well. So that I had like working motors. And uh, the first thing I had to do was take the thing apart and then clean it and try and get all the corrosion off the bottom of the plate it's still pretty crusty inside there uh the main board and the uh gps module inside it the, the gps module still works and i've um put it in my ar wing i used kiss because um i'm obviously a big fan of kiss i had all these like leftover kiss stuff from upgrading to kiss v2 so i, I used them basically and uh, i thought it'd be like a bit higher quality and you know like better performance you know the these motors uh get really really hot uh, you'll notice in the video that i i lay i i glue the um power distribution board which i think is just one of these like standard matec ones at the bottom i try and work out a position where um i've got the rear esc's uh laid down flat at the back and then i have the front two pushed up towards the air intake of the Mavic. There's not much airflow that gets in, so the back rear ESCs are pushed hard against the the aluminium bottom plate, so they, they get cooling, and then the front ESCs get cooling from the air blowing uh, into it as it moves forward, and any air that escapes around the sides uh, goes into that. And then where the power uh, connector for the battery the air comes up and into the battery area so yeah i mount I, I i like glued the power distribution board on there i got some of the uh rubbery mount things i, I put the kiss uh, flight controller in on top there so the pdb kind of like holds everything together um and i got an old like uh foxier vtx and uh, desoldered the SMA connector and soldered a left hand is it an air screw or something one of the Ivy crazy ones the the other thing I did was um hook up the LEDs that appear in the ends of the front arms to a five volt source and then I've got the the LED uh, addressable LEDs hooked up to where the the rear light and the battery are and they're all like green they flash on sos so i've got like a few leds running up to the like the battery lid terminal and so they light up and then the the, the green rear status led so if i want them to flash i just put it into like a fail safe setting and it, it looks like it's setting up and then i twist it around and then i power up the transmitter and then obviously it connects and then it goes solid green I, I got the um, DJI sounds on the Tyrannus. The only hassle was getting stuff in there 
and and fit it in there. And once you did that, it wasn't too it wasn't too bad. In regards to the folding arms, the DJI's already like worked that out. So it was just literally get the three wires onto the ends of the ESCs, and that was it. Golden. One thing I do want to update is like the the gimbal. Like I sawed the camera off the front of it and stuck a little mini run cam. I think it's called a run cam sparrow. I think and I. I silver painted that, like, you know, the silver pen and, like, glued it into place. But um, the the glue kept breaking. And if you flew it through FPV, it was just a shaky mess. And, uh, I mean, I need to go out and uh, soon when the weather picks up and uh, go get some DVR footage for it. I, I had a look at, uh, at one of the old motors, one of the old arms, and I took it apart. And I tried to take it apart as much as I could so that... Um, to see whether I could use some of like the old uh, 1806 motors or something um, instead, and it's just impossible to. You can unscrew the motor, but getting the whole uh, cable run through the arm, it's like they, you know, mold the the wire around it. It's it's mental. Um, so there's a tiny little pigtail off the PDB inside towards the rear, and the battery fits in and loops back at itself, and then just tucks underneath so there is an xt60 in there and there's a tiny little pigtail you plug it in and tuck it under and that was it so yeah luckily the um it was pretty scary i had to dismantle the battery carefully enough so that it kept the top shell completed the top shell and still had the clips but i had to safely remove the battery the um the cell protection circuit and uh, all of that and the only batteries that would fit that were four cell was um, some of the small 1300 um, Adrenaline series batteries. I mean, I would have loved to have run it off a, um, a proper DJI battery and kept the um, terminal so that it plugged in so I could just use DJI batteries. The thing is, it had been in the sea and uh, it was slightly corroded, so I didn't really trust it. And uh, it also meant then buying DJI Mavic batteries and the Mavic charger in order to just dick around with one drone that isn't actually a DJI drone. And I was like, right. So I headed into in with Sheldon and I kept it under wraps and I, I filmed it. And he's like, why are you filming? And I handed it to him. I was like, yo, man, do you want to go fly this? And he was like, yep. Yeah. Uh, it was about 11 o'clock at night. And uh, he, he sometimes does um, test flights in the uh, loading bay of where Drone Doctor is. So, uh, yeah, there's like video footage of us um, test flying it in the loading bay and doing flips and stuff. And uh, eventually we crashed it on the floor and it was very funny and made a really loud echoing noise. different. That's fine. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> So, um, and then the next time, like we, you know, we took it out for a real rippage and, uh, we got some propellers and, um, we went to, um, Sheldon's personal field and, uh, we flew in it, flying it there with, uh, with Andrew Stash Frank filming and taking photos. And then we came to the realization of the, the next problem, which was, um, that when you do flips the because the arms fold uh they slightly fold and the, obviously the, like the props um flex quite a bit and uh because they flex a bit you know the ends flex a hell of a lot and it's not really designed to be doing crazy maneuvers there's only one way to technically put this um the the propellers eat themselves and there's a horrible uh in the video footage of the clack, 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 clack noise as um they chew 
the ends of the propellers off and then they become even more uh, razor sharp and horrible and very unbalanced uh, which didn't help the cause <laughs> So yeah, and, and obviously we were we were using like genuine uh, genuine props. I think the next set of genuine props I get, I might glue them so they don't fold, and um, maybe get some carbon strip or something to like reinforce them so they don't flex as much, or evenly cut them down a bit so they don't hit the body. But yeah, it, but the the whole drone like is an abomination. It, it's just like why do why did you create me? and uh, I don't want to live and uh, all I feel is pain and yeah. it just wants to eat and kill itself. Yeah, it's, it's still in working order. I was hoping to have taken it to Mini Air Show uh, 2020 and enter it in the oddball and like fly it around. And then the other thing was I really wanted to join uh, the DJI forums and like, you know, post videos and like, you know, well, first of all, go and meet up and fly with a few of them and be like, yes, I want to take really nice scenery photos and stuff. And like, you know, fly it around in like level mode and all of a sudden just start doing flips and stuff. And like, maybe if anyone like Jumper or Free Sky make a transmitter small enough to retrofit into one of the DJI controllers, that would be pretty good. And then just have my phone like playing like you know magic roundabout or like pornography or something and like be flying the, <laughs> the main thing that i need you to do if you're if you're listening to this is subscribe to me and if you're subscribed to someone called the tone star unsubscribe from him and get me to a thousand so i can do impromptu live streams whenever i'm with my friends if i ever see them ever again i want to be able to live stream from my toilet whilst taking a dump I think that's possibly the worst thing to say to make people subscribe. <laughs>